Hello and welcome uh, to Cross Blitz. Today we will be playing with a new character. Oh, let's see. So we already have the character selected. I've already used all of my meta currency. That's what people call meta currency. Uh, that's the light side of the road. We did gain level 5, which means I'll be actually getting more gold. It's probably the big thing. Uh, we'll see how everything else works. Things go on. So we can't access anything else yet. I don't know if that's just because this is, you know, a demo. So, uh, let's see. So, do I have hard unlocked yet? Oh. Do I dare? Oh, do I dare? Do I think I could win this at all? Oh. Okay, so I need to go this way to make sure I hit up uh, one of the... Oh, they're both basically in the same way. I guess it doesn't matter which direction we're going. Uh, let's see. So here's a deadly battle, and I would like to go to the deadly battle just to see if I can win. Where are you? Cursed quarters. The private quarters of an infamous pirate captain. I still haven't seen my little friend that, that would tell me a lot of stuff. So we'll try and hit up some of these things that I haven't seen yet. Uh, maybe I should even hit up the game. So, which direction sounds ideal? I'd like to go to the Deadly Bat. I do need to at least be more. I'm tough with that. 25? 25 even be that hard. 25 seems pretty standard by that time. Alright, so I'm going to head here. I want to know uh, exactly what is going on. Oh, but I could get a second relic. Oh, see, the decision's already starting to stack up. At that time, I should definitely have 200 to get a relic, but I, I don't know why I wouldn't have a few. So if so I go this way, I still at least hit up a shop. I kind of need to see what cards are in it. This one is a trinket shop, which I'd love to actually hit. So already I'm having to make decisions. I will go this way. I haven't fought this battle, I don't think. Alright. Seems like a standard start off with five life. Today we are playing with, well, a much cheaper captain. That's probably the biggest thing I could say about Admiral Brass that I didn't like, was that I felt like using him was actually a hindrance. It probably would play out well, but... Oh, you didn't do anything. Uh... After a friendly minion dies. Do this. I waste the extra mana just to get an extra character on the board. I think it's good. Pretty good move. Look at that. Egg is killed. Right? No, you don't get two hits. Ah. Wait. Relentless. Revive the minion. Oh, but he will attack immediately. So that is exactly what it is. Oh no, he didn't. Ah, because he didn't die. Lots of dragon eggs. I could even quickly look at what his deck looks like. Uh, beach bones, I remember them. They would activate the death animation. Okay, so I have played this one. So I'm just going to pass. It should get harder, but we'll see where we go next. I believe it's to that drink. 
Oh. Uh, so, alright. Three brawlers. That should be good. You are dual strike focus seven. Ooh. Oh. I got focus seven. Oh, wait. Focus seven. Upgrade in hand after a friendly minion dies. That's going to be so powerful with the tendos. Uh, let's see. Right click. Alright, the throw and stick one. Yeah, I am going for Yaza. I think that's going to be powerful. That's not the same one that I had in the last game. Uh, guard. Oh, it reduces the amount of damage I take. Eh. To enemy hero. Selecting this is going to increase the mana value of the deck by a lot. Anybody who knows, um, curbs exist like you want. Low ones, mediums, highs. But having lots of high ones is generally going to be harmful. Why not? I will take it. She takes less damage. So now we... Okay, yeah, this is the second crew. Here we got... Alright, so you guys are all pirates? What about you? I don't know if there's going to be a difference between them. Okay, so yeah, it's basically just all pirates. Um, what do you do? Uh, summon a cannon behind this menu. That would be pretty useful. What do you guys do? Alright, so this captain costs so much. This must be evil. Add 10 puff caps to your deck. So I... Oh, right, yeah. Oh, evolve a random one. What does this mean? Transform a friendly minion into one that costs one more, or an enemy minion into one that costs one less. Ah. It says it's an autocast, so if it's an autocast, say my hand is full, would it still cast? I don't know. But you could reduce your enemy minions. That that sounds overpowered. And for seven, I think that might be fair. Uh, remove up to four puffs in your deck. Gain plus one plus one for each puff removed. So you'd be a late game character. Uh, played and death. Add a yellow toad jam to your hand. Evolve a minion and give it death. Add a uh, uh, puff cap to you. Yeah. And add pu four puffs to your deck. Hmm. I worry that that's going to get me killed. But that eat sounds so powerful. But then again, that here's probably the important part. At this late stage, if you don't have creatures on the board, playing this card is just going to be absolutely pointless. Yeah, I can't go with that. So, what about you? Okay, you're, you're the most expensive meter so far. Uh, cannons can target the enemy hero. Summon two cannons in adjacent spots. Uh, give a random friendly minion. Death, summon a haunted unit. Might want to. Uh, deal three uh, demonic damage. And give another random friendly minion. Plus one, plus one. I do like this card. It's a good damage. Here. Our cannons can target enemy. What? Wait, do you even get cannons? No. You seem like you. Wait, did, huh? Did that, 
Oh, is there a glitch right there? Ooh. Uh, revive two random death minions that died this game. That, that could be extremely useful. Hmm. So it somehow had this one up. Which, that was clearly some weird glitch, I guess. Or, is it that? I don't know. I don't like this one. Uh, that fleeting is really bad, but obviously, I think the cannon, yeah, after you summon a pirate minion, it'll activate dealing two damage. Uh, so fleeting would seem so bad, but obviously it triggers a cannon, so I should try this just to see what it does. Why not? So there we go. We go with the powder puffs. Powder puff girls go. All right. Okay. So I said I wanted to go this way, so I'm going this way. All right. After you add a puff cap to your deck, uh, stack a light show in your hand. Light show costs one. Light up a random minion. If it's friendly, give it plus one plus one. If it's an enemy, deal two damage to it. Repeat zero times. After you add a puff, submit zero. I'm guessing the repeat zero times is for each puff. I think I just found a game breaker. I think that's a game breaker. All right, so your pirates. I'm not using pirates. After you, oh no, I am. Uh, I guess technically those new characters are new pirates. The other ones are brawlers. Right, just to validate. Yes, these new ones are pirates. So it seems like it's mostly just pirates and brawlers. After you play your first death minion in a turn, trigger its death. I didn't get one of I think I gotta go with this one. This one just will synergize, right? <laughs> oh, so I've got 16 health. Let's go. How hard will this boss be? These are bosses. By far. Alright, so I go second. Uh, draw cards, add puffs. I'm going to get rid of one of you. Hopefully a one. Yes. They play her first. Uh, you don't have any relics? Yeah. So I thought those were relic slots. Looks like I have all relics available. I think. Okay, so they just passed. I am going to play you. Let's get some card draw. I should have considered maybe this. Just I guess. There we are. Points. Why not? Right there. What's it say? It says repeat three times. So the first one doesn't count. Oh, I gotta see. I gotta see how, what this is gonna do. Oh. What was that you just did? History. You're not going to show me the history. I didn't even fully comprehend what you just did. You just targeted my character. Alright, so we will come out Kendo. One more Kendo. And because I there's only friendly minions. Go, Flatcho! 
Ooh, that looks nice. Okay, so it did do four. It just didn't necessarily describe it so in the way I would have expected it. I think this character. I don't even get a chance to really see what that spell is if they're activating. It's a little annoying. So we'll put her back here to hide her. And this is any time a friendly minion dies. Which will happen now. Oh. What are you doing? Are you just automatically causing four damage to a random creature every round? I think it is. So bad. Got five. So go here and here. Wow, my f oh, you're gonna throw another attack. Right? Uh huh. What are you? So that time you it didn't. That means you'll be able to survive this one. Oops. Oops. That was not what I wanted to do. Lifesteal. This card, two random cards. Next turn, I can play this puff. I still haven't gotten any of the puffs out of my deck yet. So my guard character will take two. Ooh, I take four. Oh, this is bad. Give me something. Add a little kid in it, is that? Add a puff to the opponent's deck. I got a block here. And. Evolve a minion. Give it. Add. Ah, uh, let's evolve it. What do we got? One, two, two. Uh, splurge five. Add five glimmers to your hand. Really? All right. Well, at least it's gonna block that creature. Did you still just take one damage? That's the case. Oh, this is a much harder battle than these deadly battles are bad. Cool. Alright, do it. Oh, please hit him. Oh, oh God, he is so godlike with this relic. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at that. 
I don't think it can die. It's that strong. So guaranteed cap. What happens? Oh, he... He a mall. Oh, no. That was bad. Oh! I'm just grabbing more. That's a better one? Revive your... Shiver Shades that died this game. I didn't have any. Deal two frost damage. She'll attack right away. And I just lost. Oh, man. Like, that was the worst move that could have ever happened. So there's a massive downside to those puffs. But... I don't know. High chance of getting one. Nope, didn't... Oh. Remove, remove up to four puffs. And, well, yeah, we definitely want to remove some. There we go. Or go bye bye. Nice. Six, six. I think I win, but this is a weird way of going about. Oh. Oh, that wasn't as bad as it could have Oh, but you lost it at the end of the turn. That's an evolved form? Really? Oh, the dragon. See? Whenever you discard a card, gain plus one to this one. Alright, well, here we go. I'm just filling up the board. It's not able to attack, though. That is disappointing. So it's like it was just played onto the field, in this case. <laughs> I just don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> the insanity of this already. What do we get? Oh, add four more puffs to the deck. For it. Light show! Woo! Okay, let's see. What do we got? A lot of power on the field. At least I'll definitely kill off this guy now, so <laughs> it's like it's cascading into a very interesting battle. I have to say I enjoy these. Ooh. Okay, life steal, right. That's absolutely fine. I love that other show. Come on, give me give me another one of her. Oh. Add a random minion to your hand. Oh, pirate wings. Wish I had something to put in front of her. But that's fine. And she attacks first. Oh, no. She doesn't. Wow. I barely managed to survive that at first. Halfway through, that was really bad. Really bad. Uh, let's see. Deal to enemy minions. So it sounds like all enemy minions. And summon a kendo in any column that enemies survive. Oh. Oh, that sounds good. Randomly split among enemies. Add a case split, which... Weekends. Mm. Mm. That is a tough call. Four or two cards with focus. I'm gonna do this. It's a lower cost one. It should be helpful. What do we get? Okay, let's see. Thorns two. When this minion is damaged, add a puff to it. Ah, that sounds good. Uh, remove up to ten puffs from your deck. Cast a light show that has two stacks on each removed. Oh.
this is clearly played after that one cap. I I'm going with it. <laughs> that just sounds too good. It's going to get me killed, I'm sure. Add a random pirate minion, maybe. Uh, trigger a random friendly minion's death. That's still on. We got not many. You have Add the yellow toe, which. Yellow so it's kind of all right, I guess. My deck's already good. I need, to, I need some other weapons. And I've got I still didn't see Yaza in that battle. That battle lasted so long. So for three one one copies of a minion into your deck that cost one. Now is this specifically ones that I have? Or any one of those. Mm. This one may be the best one, I think. At least to try it out. So this is getting more cards with uh, gold. Uh, yeah, I've got 24 cards so far. I see I'm going for a relic. Maybe I'll get something super broken. After a friendly brawler minion dies, give him another random brawler minion plus one power. Ah, that's nice. Let's see, at the start of the turn, add a bloody resurrection to your hand. If you don't have it. And five random death minions that died this game. I don't have too many death minions. Maybe it's after a friendly pirate dies, revive it as a wound. That's probably the best play. Raising the power of a, of a brawler. Like, I can't even guarantee I'm going to get a brawler because there's so many brawlers in my deck right now. Reviving uh, it as a wound. As a that destroyed the Kendo. Oh no, no, the Kendo is a brawler. This only works on pirates. I have a lot of pirates. Are you a pirate? No, you're a brawler, so I do at least have a few brawlers. You are not pirates. Interesting. Well, I think this bad man is going to be the brawler. But. Oh, you know what? I'm going to be a Get an extra creature. You have too many relics. Select one to. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Ah, uh, so I only have one right now. I can even equip. Ooh. So that was a waste to go there. What do we get? What do we get? Move up to five puffs. Stack a light. <laughs> <laughs> God, light show is so good. What was the secondary aspect of a light show? It deals too damage to an enemy. This one power for each moment. I I gotta go with this rip. One time effect triggered after you cast it. Yeah. Can't get this one. Uh, that would have been a nice one. Ooh, this one's a Sprout Elf. Uh, deal four damage and a copy. Deal four damage to minion. Add a copy of a tier. Hmm. Oh, I could get a second one to get it. Why not? I I'm done here. I know that's not a, a best ball. I still wonder where some of that damage came from in the last one. Ooh, you've got two relics. I don't get it. I swear, I think it might be auto given me a Ooh. Discover a King trinket after the battle. Oh, so killing those are actually good. 
At the start of a turn, destroy... Wait. Start of turn 10, destroy the enemy hero. Oh. Oh. So I've got 10 turns, and this is round 1. Well, let's go here and let's eat up a couple chests. Why not? I definitely have to say, though, that's a little creepy. Zero five. Well, this minion is damaged. It is too powerful. What is this? I'm not going to attack that just yet, but this is going to be escape bad. I'm just on this what my chest is going to give me. I need to obviously be aggressive here. I cannot play uh, just attacking chests. That's stupid. I guarantee you that, uh, I think you have a lot of choices, because... Okay, I guarantee it's this. Yeah, you can find yourself. Tell how many focus points you want. How many million dies it? Oh, oh, I could have played. I didn't realize it was. Card to my hand? Oh, here's the card I wanted to test out to see what would happen. It's on turn four. Oh god, this is getting, getting creepy. Oh. Okay, so that was what that spell was. I can't seem to see history at all, which I imagine is some kind of a bug. Yellow toe. You, yeah, you remove. Can't do remove just yet. Oh, this is not really a All the minions. What happens? Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. Here. And let's go. And I'm hoping this deck is gonna start popping off. Come on, let's get the let's get the show on the road. You also remove. That one's best to play after the captain. I still don't have some of the ones I definitely need. You? You? So that's it. If a creature dies, she's gonna gain more power. I wanna always hide her in the back row. Right now, I'm obviously not playing very good. Turn six, and I'm nowhere near killing. Go. 
Oh, stay the point. Alright, let's start cards. Low level ones. How are they gonna be ones? All the minion. What? Ah, good. Nice weak minion. I don't want. Is there a way to just get I don't want cards in my hand. Get the show go. I wonder if she has her focus. Or is it while she's on? Oh, I got another brawler. No! Oh! So yeah, if I can, mm, I'm not gonna get any kills. I need light show right now. Thank you, Captain. Without light show. This will probably get me killed. But I just have to do it. If I luck out, this is gonna be murderous. <clears throat> right at the end. Aw, lost my brawler. It's fine. Ooh. I don't mind what happened there. Oh, what are you gonna do? Ooh, four puffs. Oh, she's gone. Ah, but that counted as a death. So this should hopefully be the turn of win. Ooh. Ooh, twelve. Oh, did I do the wrong thing? Then, oh, so it got destroyed. Move up to 10. Oh. Oh, th this is gonna win, right? No? Oh, one time I wanna trigger. It has to stop. Oh, oh. Yes. Let's. Is that on you, I suppose? <laughs> oh, that is so, so insane. Is this a win, though? I think it more or less is. Oh! Gained health back. But I won. Oh my god, that light show. Let's see, plus three less. Oh. Oh. I can make certain things. Um, I put them tender. Yes. Please. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna make her overpowered. Look at that. Oh, she is going to. God, where is that spell? I know I have at least a spell. Can I pick up the spell? Oh no. I don't have a spell. Darn. That's fine. Uh, it doesn't matter. Get 
get another lava. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. all enemies. What does that mean? Remove all abilities and enchantments. That sounds overpowered. Hmm. How will that... Wait, how will that... Wait up a random menu with... Zero times, but... How does the light show specifically mean? I can add a cap to here to stack the light show. I don't think it's going to be useful. Be sure maximum mana by the way. Maybe. I'm gonna take the jade. <laughs> Not even a question. No. Oh. Oh sh. Should I give contender overgrowth? Should I give the contender contender overgrowth? Anybody who saw the last video, the healer was overpowered because of over. And if I remember right, it does apply to the loot, is it? Yeah, so I want to always have a space to loot. When cast draw a card, I pick up. I don't think. Oh, I did. Uh, I did pick up brains. Let's grab it. One cast, draw a card. That's potentially useful. Though I have so many cards. Uh, so getting more kendos could be so overpowered. I think I want to give kendo overgrowth so that. I'll spawn a second one, which in the right condition would be overpowered. But is there a better target overall? And the captain? Wait, I want to see if a captain can have it. I, I have to know. Especially one certain captain. Oh god. I'm just literally going ham on this guy. I'm going it. I'm doing it. That should just god tier the frickin'. <laughs> well, there's absolutely no way I'm going to play with her right now. What was the jam again? Add a death cap to your bone stack. That's terrible. I'm gonna get rid of this one just. Well, he has guard. It costs so much. I'll probably get a kendo. It seems like it does kind of focus on one. Or maybe a contender. Oh. Most of the rush creatures do not have. The ability to uh, to cause full damage. I have to see what's going to happen in this battle. I should have considered giving the rule. I really should have. Alright, so you got a growth. Hmm. Evil, evil. So I don't have the overgrowth, which is fine, of course. I'm gonna put you in front of here just so that I have, you know, a defense. Oh, you're the oh, you're the poison, right? It's gonna get chaotic. Oh no, I'm. Actually, a little worried about this. Mm. Three points. 
two way deals. He said, that's what I'm not gonna get there. Uh evolve a minion. I could do it to them, which I could at least stop one poison, right? But what if that causes harm? Yeah, that's not ideal. I'm gonna want you and you. It's gonna be a bit played throughout that row. Next turn is pretty much play all those cards. <laughs> Oh man. It's bad. Play all these out. Yeah. One. Let's get a contender on the board. I keep. I keep all the minions dead. I'll play her there, because I, th I think I'd like to avoid the poison a little bit. Just a bit. Thorns three. Ooh. Well, somebody's definitely dying. Oh. Wall of a minion. Ooh. So this one has no thoughts. Good. But we're still gonna Oh no, you'll she'll survive. I guess that's about the best I can do. Oh, we got Mr. Puff! Oh, Look at how awesome that hands. Oh wow. I have to play Puff and it's like an auto win. Right? Like let's just see what happens if I evolve one of these. Turn it in front of them. Oh. That's not what I was expecting. Happen, but it works out. Find two focuses, which I mean, put it to Yaga, so, which I have almost no way of doing much of that. Play that behind him. Oh. So next round, I can play the over. It's gonna be so bad. to the right. Here we go. And you should now overgrowth. Is that activated again? No, it did not. Hmm. Ah, darn it. So, an activate ability like that doesn't count. Good to know for the future. And I thought I I saw the healer not giving me extra heal, but I wasn't sure. Uh, I'm gonna definitely choose the healer. Game dual strike. I only focus two. I mean that could center for us, but I think Nintendo's is gonna be my Go to uh, deal 4 damage to enemy minion, then deal 2 to all other minions. Thorns give all opponent's spells costs one more. Mm. 
uh, remove up to five caps. Mm, I'm gonna go with this one. <laughs> I shouldn't. This was pretty good, so. Alright, there's no reason to go to these relics, which. Sucks. So I get to find out what that is. So what else do we have here? Sanctum, a cavern of worship occupied by the defunded cultists. I do want to hit up this just to see what it's going to be. Yeah, I'm going to have to go to this one. I, no matter what, I had to go there anyways. Swift Strike. Swift Strike was a no damage, right? Swift Strike. I do. Hmm. Shit. Should I give the contenders with strike? Oh man. Okay, now those go for the spells. No. Alright, thorns. I'd get an extra damage. That's all it would do. Mm -hmm. Use a little bit more uh, bang for a buck. Maybe. I'm disappointed in this guy. Though, but what if he also has Swift Strike? Would Swift Strike apply to the minion that gets some? Is eight damage from a basic minion is still really good. So I'm going to. Oh, I cannot apply any more. Any way I can get rid of them? No. Good to know, good to know for the future. This one's so hard to play. Uh, the contender. Yeah, I think I'm going to make the contender. Ah, let, let, let's let's give her points. That may be useful. Yeah, I'll give her health. Why not? Right now I have 250 gold, so there's some benefits. 28 health, wow. Alright, so I guess we'll check out what this new one is. The Notorious Jelly Bomber, one of the Coxswain's loyal battles. He's hosting his annual bomb against. As you gaze upon the Extraordinary collection of explosives delights you. You ponder I am a big bomb. Select a minion from your deck to remove all copies of it. Hmm. Who came to your party? He's only going to be able to do one, right? Or see who is it. My deck is already so big. Why a big bomb? I can destroy a minion from my deck. And all copies. What is like the most useless? I uh, mostly only have ones, so. Yeah, I guess th this one just isn't gonna work. Ugh, card shop or. I 
Tavern of Worship. Oh, we love that. We'll head to Cavern of Worship. Ooh! I will take that. That's a pretty good start. Hard if I need it. So what are your mechanics? Got nothing that I really need. You do. Deal two frost damage to a random enemy. That's on death. Mm. Like this. Uh, let's do this. One of them's gonna die. Me. Alright, so I get hit. That's better than one of the Kendo's games. One thing I don't like is that I can't tell if the Kendo has officially died yet. It would be nice if there was an indicator that said that it took damage. Now, this would remove the ability to with but I'm not going to worry about that. I want some lecher. Go. Beautiful. Five five. I should consider putting the card drawer out, but I want that light show. What are you gonna do? Summon a shiver shade? Is that the creature that I've been facing? <laughs> Are you up here? Get way too many powder puffs. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought it was. I didn't read the name, so I knew it. Come on. A little pirate. I don't necessarily fear that. Can be dead. That's fine. I get uh oh, re evolving. Oh, what do you do again? You're too demonic damage when played. Oh, really now the Potter Puffs can really screw up a lot of things. That and then I chose. We're going to put her in here in the back row. Get a little bit better card draw. I mean, I've already won, pretty much. But I noticed that she gained one attack. So the thorn value implies how much extra damage she will have. What are you going to do? Oh, Man, I can't attack. It also has demon or the draconic uh, damage plus two. What does that even mean? It doesn't show what the Draconic uh, actually says, so I'm not sure. Uh, add the... Add the toe, why not? And... This will evolve a picture, right? So maybe I want to try it on one of mine just to see. Mm, why not? 
that is not very good. Let's silence everybody, though. So now all these guys have no abilities, right? Shit. Nice. And they didn't get off their abilities. Yeah, this, um... This mushroom crew is overpowered. I... See, now, that is a character that I would want to play in the future. Uh, at the end of your turn, give minions in your hand plus one power. Uh, it's a brawler, so that'd be something. I think I'm gonna choose this. It's like summon a kendo to any columns the enemy survive. Mm. I'm gonna have to go with this one. Adding a little bit more power compared to the power that I up to the oh, This was move up to three from your deck, give plus one power to each remove. I don't think it's strong enough. Add a puff to your deck. Evolve a random mini. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't like the idea of creatures in attack. Figures after plus one units. Oh, so that happens each time. So you get a lot of light shows, but that's not really good. I'd rather have one light show that gives me a lot of stuff. Add a random pirate minion to your hand. I'm gonna go with you again. I don't like that pirate guy. That guy doesn't seem very useful. Oh, how dangerous is this? Oh. When the mysterious cabin boys you. The interior is decorated with stone carvings depicting a legendary sea god. The noted Shiverfin cultus is the trade. Hmm. Why is Mysterious Box? Get a random trinket from the cultus and like a random minion in your party. I can't think of any bad sides to that. Can you choose? Share a grand story. After you freeze a minion, summon a sh Don't freeze them. Can I get both of these? Oh. Add more trinkets. Can I get both of them? That's going to be the question. I think looking at the wares is going to be better. Ooh. One cast, gain armor equal to the cost of that this card. Plus damage plus two. Uh not great, I think. Freeze minions attacked by this. So I actually hmm. I can make Kendo pretty much a oh that costs a hundred. And this one. And I don't need to Well, we'll see. Uh, do I have a. This will give me three armor to cast this. And of course, more kendos. You just can't. Can't go wrong with more kendos. And I'm interested in this one. See, what do we get? What do we get? Oh, so I did only get a chance to check it out. Uh, you enter the eccentric shop packed with gizmos and gadgets galore. Gold grubbing grub. The owner of this establishment meets you. It's a trap card. Sneak into the back. Mm, tell a joke. I'm laughing as a room. Oh, I'm gonna hunt. Uh, I think I'll look at the shop. But a friendly minion is destroyed. Do you damage to all minions? Oh. <laughs> Give your opponent. Give your. When your opponent casts a spell, negate it. 
Very pop. When your opponent plays a minion, turn it into a 1-1. One, one. I just know this is not going to be used. It's, somehow this is not going to be used. Uh, does that last the entire combat? Because if it lasts the entire combat, oh god, that's that's just wrong. I'm going to go with it just to see what will happen. That's gonna... Oh. Oh, yep, it's there. Okay, I was like, oh, it's not even a card. So this is the reanimator. And... Yeah, he does the cultist thing. I mean, the, uh... Uh, uh little... Yeah, the... the dead bone guy, right? That... I don't have a choice but to go here. Oh, I have to hit up the campfire. Darn it. I think I'm doing really good. Oh, oh, oh. Since you're not likely to be able to attack on the first round, we're going to do that. Probability should be extremely low. So we learned in the last game, you want to kill the pirate first. Which... The puff, gotta love the puff. And hang on, let's do this in the right order. Brawler, that kill off Kendo. Oh. Hmm. So the freeze seemed to. Oh right. Oh. Hmm. That seems like a downside to the Kendo. Cause the Kendo's idea is death. I'm not sure I like the outcome there. This. Get our light show on. And now super overpowered. Hmm. Where did you come from? Not entirely sure. But lots of power on really. Oh, maybe... No, I didn't see a mini guy. So I'm not sure. Maybe he got hit. What, does the gate skelly to you? That's removed up to 10, which can is... Nobody's gonna die. This is just a slaughter. These brawlers are just frickin' destroying. I have like the perfect deck. This is just good. Yeah. Oh, cop. Oh, I see. Hmm? What am I copying? Copy of a minion. Oh. Oh, she's very overpowered. And we're going to put you in the front row here. I would actually rather see you die. Oh, that one anyways. Just 
too easy. Depression uh, is. Oh god, I gained health out of that. Uh, another Kendo. Uh, choose a minion, the enemy Ak. In an enemy Ak, I give it plus three power. That sounds really bad. Damage at an apex strike. Oh, this is not apex strike. I, I'm gonna go with Kendo. None, neither one of these sound very good. I will pick another Kendo. Ooh. As I said earlier, I don't think having a light show. Well, I guess you don't have to play the light show, of course. Uh, restore eight health. Increase your max health. Oh, mana by two. Oh, that's evil. This one's got overgrown. Restore four health to all friendly characters. Uh, I suppose I can't guarantee that they're gonna have a ton of health. This one's just god. Oh, what we got here? Combat start. If you have any traps set, deal two damage to all minions. That's not bad, but I only have one trap, so unless I get a ton of traps, that's just not going to be useful. Uh, after a friendly trap is revealed, give your minions plus one. When a friendly minion is attacked, give it plus two, plus two, and here. I guess that's the best of the ones out. Yeah, we're going with uh, another brawler. Mm, casting a spell is on me, like, store for health. I mean, I don't think my health is going to be a problem. So this is basically the end. I'm not likely to pick up any relic, but let's see what they are. Uh, your opponent casts a spell, destroy a card in their deck. I don't know how zero cards in a deck works. Oh uh, yeah, none of these are good. So we're just going to pass it. Go on to the next uh, fairly easy battle, right? I'm still surprised at how good this deck is doing. I like that new character. End of your turn, minions get us on hand. Hmm. Should I just hold on to him, just friends and giggles, just to see if I get to play him? I think I will. But my kendos are a little too strong. The old freeze thing is a little too much. They're not dying. I guess the freeze applies... Well, yeah, the freeze, I guess, applies prior to the actual like, death trigger. Add it to it. Can't see it. Oh, they added extra oh, uh, power. Not a humongous. Again, uh, add the toe. This, you know, it's Kendo. It's really not going to be as effective as I'd like. You want that recruit to be very strong. Interesting. Oh, we get oh two contenders. That line is gonna be like the kill. You're not gonna cause me anywhere near enough damage. Silence, get rid of the barrier. Mm. 
I, I, I get three more of them. One seven? Wait. Why one sevens? Oh god. And yeah. We're gonna silence you guys. Oh, oh no. There are only one ones. Good to know. Obviously, I'm testing out as much as I can. Oh, is that a discard? That is a discard. I should try that out if it is. Only add the toe jam. And the toe jam. We'll add a puff to the opponent's deck. Oh, but I evolves. There's nothing to evolve. I, I don't have a reason to use it. So I'm gonna put you over here. I'm gonna put you here so that you start attacking. You're not going to take damage. Ah, uh, that's... That's fun. I've already won. I'm just testing out now what these cards are going to ultimately do. Now that the Kendos are freezing, it's just so bad. It's so bad for everybody. And I notice that it keeps on sending that down there. Uh, I'm gonna choose this one. Ooh, Rush and Swift Stroke. The opponent draws four cards, though. Oh. That sounds bad. I mean, granted, if you duck out your opponent, that's not gonna work. Uh, stack. Light shows in your hand equal to the to this minion's power. It's just not gonna work out well. Uh, deal five damage to oh. I did want to get him a while back, so we're gonna get him. Oh, a third one. Gosh, I, I have so much health. The stack ball should be easy. Cost three less for each trap you control. Does it work? Three or more traps set gain rush. That's not gonna work out very well. Deal. Damage, plunder, plunder, trigger after this card destroys a minion. Um, I think I'm... I don't think I want this. I, I don't think any of these are working, and I just noticed the skip button. So I've been able to choose to skip for a long time. I've got 42 cards. That is so much. I'm gonna skip. Ah, uh, of course, contender. And... Let's see, you approach a cozy campfire. What would you like to do? I... I mean, getting up to 40 health could be nice, I suppose. What is this? Ooh, gain 5 armor. Now, the armor applies to character. And a heart mage. I think I'll take the armor. I don't think uh, I need the heart mage in this case. And yeah, the, the screen staying down here is a little... A little goofy. So here we go, the final boss. Wow, it's been a long battle. Lots of stuff to look through. This should be easy, right? Like, I've got 37 health, besides having the 5 armor. Oh. Let's go. Let's go! Power! Does that mean he would only take one damage? Uh, 
Brings up to five. I'm gonna put you here. I don't see this. You allow me to draw two focus cards. I should probably. Is that worth playing right now? I think so. Play you here. And let you. A decent. So this creature just keeps on reanimating. That, that seems so easy. Yeah, my deck is so huge, the chances of me ever seeing that bomb is like zero. I, I don't think I'm gonna have any problems here. I should try out the focus cards. You also have a death, you know, and you're just tough. Uh, no point in using that yet. But I'll draw two cards. I'm curious what's going to happen there. Alright, so. Let's see. So draw two cards with focus. I'm guessing that must mean from my deck. It's not like creating. I'm not too worried about that. It should be really fast, so. Mm. Oh, it's so just great fast. You definitely throw in a lot of bombs, but I have I have so much going on, I don't think you're gonna ever end up I'm gonna silence all these guys. Ooh, managed to get that bomb. I only had one armor, and I took one damage. It said four. Hmm. Go here. You're not gonna die. And here, you're not gonna die, sadly enough. I'd like to. St <laughs> I kind of screwed up Kendo by giving him the freezing thing. My contender is a lot weaker, just because of that. Cannon play now. I mean, oh, two more focus. Ah, so that's been decreasing. I didn't see that. Kendo's in uh, How many caps do I have? Is there any way to find out? I have four right now, so I can remove four and gain a light show. Well, let's do that. Oh, I have to play a spell first. I forgot about that. Uh, Kendo's are just so bad because I wanted my contenders to become like 2020s. 
I have so many contenders too. So many contenders. How many do I actually have in the deck? I have... It says four, but I swear I put more in here. Maybe that's four left in there. After friendly minion dies attack. So she gained her focus. That is the first time I've actually got. Uh forcing you to draw four cards is probably really bad, so I'm probably never gonna use this. Now this seems like a discard, right? Like I think. I don't I would uh, I'll figure that out, so I'm gonna do this to get the Swiss strike. Then we will do this for the Poke. Let's get rid of those cannons. Oh, I. I like, played a spell. I didn't wait. And so much. But you're going down without, without me even trying. Endo does not die. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Got rid of one. And a little bit of a buffed characters. I mean, what else can I do? It's just auto win. There's nothing else that my opponent could do. It's just over. This was extremely easy due to the contenders getting so overpowered. And then gaining that boss pirate captain that just having that relic is just too overpowered. Oh man. Ooh, where do I play you? I don't need to really play you anywhere specifically, so I guess I'll just put you in the defensive zone. I'll play you over here. Will this do four? Will this do four damage to the creature in front, or will it only do two? Well, one. It only did one, but it does freeze it. Then we'll cast you. <laughs> so overpowered. This. And it looks like freezed ones can't attack back. See all the mechanics we're learning. This is just powered. Oh my god. Eh, no big deal. You only got six health left. You're dead just pun playing. The contender is just gonna be good. Oh no. Oh. Oh. I get to play Yayaga. Oh. Ooh. Hidden trap. When your opponent plays a minion, turn it into a 1-1 one, one. <laughs> I get to play Yaga. Oh, she immediately attacked. I didn't even realize she was that overpowered. So, what? Do this on a square, or just play it. I just play it. Hmm. I'm curious what that's gonna do. I mean, I, I, I'm not gonna find out, sadly enough, but I did finally get to play the one creature that I was like, oh, I'll never play it. <laughs> This was 
This is quite the playthrough of this. Okay, so the only thing I failed in, no aid from campfires. Sadly enough, I could not avoid it. But I got 1500, so you don't even get extra for beating the bosses. I did get an A, whatever that really means. But yeah, we gained some extra experience towards my overall level. This turned out to be a lot. This relic really carried it hardcore. Uh, that light show, too much. Too much. But yeah, missed out on this last one just because of the campfire thing. But I did get the deadly one. That got me 250. Hmm. So wait a minute. Was the no campfire also like 250? I didn't look. Because last time I could not beat a deadly bat. This time I did. Oh yeah, I was forced into it going to the campfire either way. So now did that unlock anything new? But level seven. Uh card shops have an additional card available. Define card but I imagine it's the that one icon that I didn't get to. It was one or two that I didn't get to. Uh, unlock three rare trinkets, which mm. So this is pretty well the end. There's not much else to do. I did not care for the one pirate captain at all. Oh we got showing up. So I didn't care for this one. It did the card itself didn't really have enough benefits to it, unless make one of the trinkets will lower it by I'd have to lower it by like three costs to be viable, I think. This one was really good. I could unlock this one. Which. I suppose would be fun to try out. Hmm. Tough call. I'd like to see how much more of these things. Like, what about this relic thing? Costs 200 to unlock the relic. I already have way too much health. I am. I don't need more health. Crimson Surge. Ten minions have died during your turn. What? That that must. Go over multiple turns. That can't just be one turn. Uh, Blitz burst until combat starts. After a minion attacks, give your minions plus one power. I don't think that's going to be useful. That doesn't sound good. Obviously, it's unlocked at level 10. I might as well level her up. Let's see. Oh, the tender will get one extra health. This one now has berry. Which will protect your life. Uh, Saber, plus two power. That's an uh, easy kill. Let's do another one. What's next? Oh, you know, there's negatives to this. There's a lot of negatives to this. Doing this is going to prevent me from actually equipping them with anything. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So I'm going to have to unlock elk slots. Uh, having potentially more relics. Uh, that don't help me, really. So I guess after the next purchase, it would actually give me uh, the ability, I guess, to buy these. 
guess it's showing me the different trinkets. Which could be this kind of go down through. There's clearly a lot of them. That really is about the end of this demo. I'm really curious where the, where the development's going to go. It would be kind of nice to see another zone outside of this. Just to see like how much harder it gets. Clearly I just kind of bombed my way through. So now, yeah, I know I could I do more health, a lot more health. There. Starting off with 18 health. <laughs> yeah, very overpowered. I may do another run, probably, probably not on screen, just to get enough to break him below 10. What does this do? Summon six pirate minions? Is that in... Like I said, is that throughout the entire game? Or Well, I guess this one would make sense, yeah. This one doesn't imply turn. So even death pirates can be good. No. Hmm. Let's see. Nothing is really beneficial there. Yeah, maybe. I, I might want to see what he'll he'll do if I level him up. But uh, next, I guess th this is the only other one that's available. Can't find the uh, puff guy. I guess that would be cool. I was wondering if some of these would open. But that is that was a long. And level 11 is the highest for this, so it's, I'll only gain probably two levels on the next one, at most. So it, and what is a thousand husks? Are these the husks? Yes. So I would just automatically get a thousand husks, which would mean I can unlock it. Alright, I guess that is it. It was very interesting. I'm actually kind of surprised I survived it, but after like the third battle, uh, everything just started going uh, chaotic. I didn't like some of the synergies that I chose, but it worked out. It took an hour and a half to complete this world. I wonder if the world's fault is longer and longer and longer. And hell, what about an endless mode? Fact, I think about it. Let me head back to the main screen. I wonder if any of those other ones unlock now that I beat hard. Nope. Can't use arrows. So it's just this tusk tails right now. Coliseums and fables are locked. So there is basically nothing else left to the game. As it stands, I'll try and follow it a little bit. I'm gonna see when it's gonna when it's gonna be potentially unlocked and maybe get it. See where things go. Anyways, you all have yourself a good day. Take care. Bye!